Malik's heart pounded, a cold sweat slicked his skin, he knew that voice, that chillingly familiar voice, Sandra, what was she doing here? He thought she was gone, a ghost from a past he desperately wanted to forget. Her presence hung in the air, a suffocating blanket of dread, he had to get out, had to warn his wife. Malik fumbled with his keys, his hand trembling, he pushed open the door, a sense of foreboding washing over him. The house was eerily silent, the air thick with tension. He called out for his wife, his voice a strained whisper. Aisha, Aisha, where are you? No answer. He moved through the house, each step heavy with apprehension. The living room was empty, the furniture shrouded in shadows. He went towards the bedroom, his heart throbbing in his chest. He pushed the door open, his breath catching in his throat. Aisha lay on the bed, still and lifeless. Her eyes were closed, her face pale and lifeless. Malik's blood ran cold, he stumbled back, his mind reeling. This couldn't be happening, it was a nightmare, a cruel, twisted nightmare. Surprised? Sandra's voice cut through the silence, sharp as shattered glass. He whirled around, his eyes wide with terror. Sandra stood in the doorway, a triumphant smirk playing on her lips. She held a gun in her hand, small and deadly. You thought you could escape me, Malik? You were wrong. He stared at her, his mind struggling to process what he was seeing. Sandra here, with a gun, Aisha dead. It was too much, too fast. He felt like he was going to be sick. Why? He choked out his voice hoarse with fear. Why? Sandra laughed, a cold, mirthless sound. Because you took everything from me, Malik, and now I'm taking everything from you. Panic surged through Malik. He had to get out, had to escape. He couldn't let Sandra take everything from him. He spun around and bolted, adrenaline coursing through his veins. He could hear Sandra's enraged shouts behind him, the sound of her footsteps pounding on the floor. He raced through the house, his mind racing. He had to get help, had to call the police. He fumbled with the door handle, his hands slick with sweat. It wouldn't budge. It was locked. He threw his weight against the door, but it wouldn't give. You can't escape me, Malik. Nowhere to run. He turned, his back against the door, his heart hammering in his chest. Sandra was approaching, her gun pointed straight at him. Her eyes were cold and calculating, devoid of any emotion. He was trapped. Section 4 Hunted Malik's eyes darted around searching for an escape route. He spotted a window, a small glimmer of hope. He lunged towards it, crashing through the glass without hesitation. He landed hard on the ground outside, shards of glass digging into his skin. He ignored the pain and scrambled to his feet, his only thought to get as far away from Sandra as possible. He ran, he ran with every ounce of strength he had, his lungs burning, his legs screaming for mercy. He didn't dare look back, didn't dare slow down. The sound of his own ragged breaths filled his ears, punctuated by the pounding of his feet on the pavement but the sounds of pursuit were close behind him. He could hear Sandra's enraged shouts, the heavy thud of her footsteps. She was gaining on him. He pushed himself harder, his vision blurring, his body nearing collapse. Section 5. A Cry for Help Malik stumbled, his legs giving way beneath him. He crashed to the ground, his body racked with pain. He couldn't go on, he was finished. He lay there, gasping for breath, his body trembling with exhaustion. He closed his eyes, waiting for the inevitable. But then, a hand reached down and grabbed his arm, hauling him to his feet. He opened his eyes to see a stranger, his face etched with concern. Help me, he pleaded in Hindi. Please help me. The stranger didn't understand his words, but he understood the fear in his eyes. He nodded, his grip on Malik's arm tightening. Police, he said, pointing down the street. Come. Sirens wailed in the distance, growing louder by the second. Hope flickered in Malik's chest. He was going to be okay. He was going to be safe. He looked around for Sandra, but she was gone. Vanished. The police cars screeched to a halt, officers jumping out, their faces grim. Malik stumbled towards them, his legs shaky, his body battered and bruised. He pointed back the way he had come, his voice trembling as he spoke. She's gone, he said, his voice thick with fear, she's gone. But as the police fanned out, searching for any sign of Sandra, Malik couldn't shake the feeling that this was far from over. He was safe for now, but for how long? Sandra was out there, somewhere, and he knew she wouldn't rest until he was dead. His ordeal was far from over. Malik stood over the grave, the weight of the past weeks pressing down on him. The memories of the harrowing ordeal were still fresh, and the pain of loss was almost unbearable. He had buried his wife, the love of his life, in a quiet ceremony. Friends and family had gathered to pay their respects, but the emptiness in Malik's heart was profound. The nightmare was over, but the scars remained. Every moment of the past few weeks replayed in his mind a constant reminder of the terror and the loss. With a heavy heart he decided to leave everything behind and move to Ireland, seeking solace and a fresh start. The decision was not easy, but he knew he needed to escape the memories that haunted him. 
The rolling green hills and the distant sound of the ocean promised a new beginning. Ireland with its rich history and serene landscapes seemed like the perfect place to heal. As he boarded the plane he took one last look at the life he was leaving behind, ready to embrace the unknown future. The journey ahead was uncertain, but it was a chance for Malik to rebuild his life. The pain of loss and the terror of being hunted had shaped him, but they would not define him. Malik was determined to find a new path, one that would lead to healing and hope. The plane ascended, and Malik closed his eyes, feeling a sense of peace wash over him for the first time in weeks. The weight of the past began to lift, replaced by a sense of anticipation for what lay ahead. The memories of Sandra and the harrowing ordeal began to blur, replaced by the promise of new adventures and healing. Malik knew that the road to recovery would be long, but he was ready to take the first step. Ireland awaited him with open arms, a land of history, mystery, and hope. The beauty of the countryside and the warmth of the people offered a glimmer of light in the darkness. Malik knew the journey ahead wouldn't be easy but he was ready to rebuild, to find joy, and to live again. The support of new friends and the beauty of his surroundings gave him strength. As the plane soared above the clouds, Malik whispered a silent goodbye to his past and a hopeful hello to his future. The sun began to rise, casting a golden glow over the horizon, symbolizing a new dawn for Malik. Stepping off the plane, Malik felt the cool Irish breeze on his face. It was a breath of fresh air, a sign of the new life that awaited him. He began to explore the countryside, meeting new people and finding a place to call home. Each day brought new experiences and a sense of belonging. Malik started to document his journey, writing in a journal and reflecting on his past and future. The act of writing helped him process his emotions and find clarity. He found solace in nature, planting flowers and tending to a garden. The simple act of nurturing life brought him peace and a sense of purpose. Malik began to form new friendships, sharing meals and laughter with those around him. The connections he made helped him heal and find joy once more. As the days turned into weeks, Malik felt a sense of contentment he hadn't known in a long time. The sunsets over the Irish hills became a symbol of his journey from darkness to light. Walking along the beach, feeling the ocean breeze, Malik smiled at the horizon. The future was still uncertain, but he was ready to face it with hope and determination. Under the starlit sky, Malik felt a deep sense of peace. The journey had been long and painful, but he had found a new beginning in the heart of Ireland. Closing his journal, Malik looked forward with hope. The past would always be a part of him, but it no longer defined him. He was ready to embrace the future and all the possibilities it held. If you enjoyed Malik's journey, please like, share, and subscribe for more stories.